you interrupted your education to uh, go to the Peace Corps and then went back to school afterwards. Why did you do that? What was important about the Peace Corps? I, I, I spoke a little bit about um, self-esteem and um, the kind of person that I was, was as I was growing up. And that process of um, understanding myself was going on while I was going to college, and that made me a very undisciplined student. I got A's and F's, and my, my GPA wasn't the best. And I also had a sense that uh, I needed to grow up. I always felt that what I had to say was not important, that other people were more sophisticated and things like that. It was an issue of self-esteem, and I just knew I wasn't ready to graduate from college and go out into the larger world. So I dropped out of school and joined Peace Corps. I felt that Peace Corps would be a way of leaving this country, um, being in a different environment, and, um, and I really didn't know what to expect except that I wanted to go to a Latin American country, and a country that nobody knew about, and I found El Salvador, and that happened to be a country that was inviting Peace Corps members. So I was accepted and I went through training, Peace Corps training in Puerto Rico. And what they did for us during the training was they pushed us to our limits, uh, both mental, physical, and emotional, and we found that we had more than what we thought our limits were. And so that, that helped me um, understand that, you know, there's strength in me that I didn't know existed. Also, um, um, made me understand that uh, if you make a commitment, you keep it. And I was sick. Uh, I had dysentery for a week, and I lost weight, but I was bound and determined not to leave, you know, even if I was, was going to die. And uh, that taught me commitment. And then being a country that was so poor, uh, it, it was sad in one way, but it was interesting to see families who were poor but loved each other and, and worshipped with each other and uh, created a community uh, in spite of all of its other um, um, trappings of poverty that children were important, family was important, uh, church was important, and, and government was not a participant in this whole thing. And, and seeing that generosity in, 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 in a community that's so poor uh, taught me um, uh, humility and, uh, and uh, I guess, a certain kind of generosity. And, uh, and then their, their, their wonderful um, esteem for the United States. And when I came to my, uh, my, my, uh, my town, they said, the gringos here. And they all ran past me <laughs> looking for a, a blonde haired blue-eyed, you know, tall <laughs> guy. And it was just this you know, young kid who looked like a Chinese guy. But um, once they listened to me speak Spanish at the moment, they said, yeah, he is an American, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, it, it was a way of telling me that I have a function, I have a story that's very uniquely American, and they, they started to understand it, and they started to get it that Bonanza doesn't necessarily represent America or the, um, the, the movie, uh, the series, The Fugitive, doesn't necessarily reflect America. They look at me and says, no, that's America. And I think that um, when I came home, I had a, a very deep sense of um, uh, understanding that I could see things in this country that needed to be done. And no matter how great of a country we are, I think Benjamin Franklin used to say, um, how can a country so wonderful, have so many faults. And that's what we are. You know, we're a country that's a, um, a wonderful country with wonderful promises uh, that we need to keep. And I think that uh, that prepared me to be in Congress because um, that whole phrase uh, in the preamble of the Constitution, in order to form a more perfect union, became the 
the core mission, I think, for for people like myself, and uh, and to engage people and tell people that they all have value. So when I came home, I was prepared to be a student. I was disciplined. I had a goal. I had a mission. I had a um, um, an understanding that you know finishing school is not the end. It's only the beginning. And Education truly is a lifelong process of learning, and I'm still learning here. And like I said before, it's the best job I ever had.